Hi there, Mr. Mark here. Going to be making something called a Christmas tree in a jar. It also is known as a waterless snow globe. And of course, it's December already, so we're going to be doing some holiday crafts. That's the first one we'll be starting out with. I'm going to show you some, there's different ways you can make it. I'm going to show you some different ways you can do that and um, get into it. And maybe you can make one at home. So since it's a Christmas tree in a jar, let me show you what we need first. You're going to need a jar, of course, and you're going to need a Christmas tree. And also you need something for making the snow, and I'll get into that here in a second, and have some extra things that you can throw onto it. So let's talk about the jar first of all. Um, here is one that I made, and let me turn so you can see the clear part. Let me shake it up a little bit. So you see it doesn't have the water, it uses foam uh, for the snow. And so I used a small mason jar, and I'll tell you in a second how I put all this together. We're gonna be adding to it as well. So I used a mason jar for that. And you can use bigger mason jars. I have one here. And this is actually, this was a, let me turn it over this way. It was a jelly jar. So when we were done eating the jelly, and it's one of those ones that you can turn into a drinking glass. But I went ahead and I kept the lid in case I want to make it into a snow globe. Turn it over this way. And with the mason jars, you actually have to glue something underneath to make them stand up because you can't see through this part. But one thing that's kind of cool if you use the jelly jar, it doesn't have anything here so you can glue it straight on and it's kind of neat how you grab a hold of that part and be able to shake it that way. So next thing you would need is your tree. And it depends on what size jar you're using as to what size tree. You can get these little model trees at um, any craft store. They're basically like a little brush with some frosted snow on it. And they also, you can give them white or different colors as well. And then they have a little plastic stand. And it's good that it's kind of flat because you're going to be hot gluing it into your jar. And the next thing you need is your snow. And the snow that I have is foam snow. And these are like ball type. They're made out of styrofoam. You can buy these at the store. You can also buy it in a more fine form. And I didn't buy the fine form, but I decided to make my own. And let me show you how I did this. I had a craft foam block from the craft store. And I hold a container so you can get it down in there. And I was just using scissors with it. Cut it down in there. And it's kind of good to have paper towels or a plastic sheet or something over there. Because it will get a little bit messy. But that's okay. You want to get as much of it in there as you can. And it does dust off of the scissors. And it looks pretty good. It's just a little tedious making. Like I said, you can buy the fine uh, foam snow as well. And cutting it this way, this is what I used in this jar. Okay, so that's the kind of snow I used for that. I stood there and I cut it and then I put it into here. Now, a couple neat things about doing the waterless snow globe as opposed to the one that you use with water and glycerin is when you use one with water and glycerin, you kind of keep it there because it's got the water in it. And also the water will go down after a while. With this one, Let's say you had it like this for a while and you're like, oh, I want to change out the kind of snow. Well, you shake it down because there's no water. It's easy to take it apart. Now I'm going to show you how I did this. Let me pull it out here. I'll show you what the tree looks like. So the way I made this was I needed something to raise it up. So I took a white Lego block and I hot glued it onto the lid. And then I hot glued my tree. Remember I showed the flat bottom part. I hot glued my tree onto the Lego block. And then I put it down into here. I screw it back in that way. And because I used the white Lego block, you don't see it so well because it blends in there with the snow. And like I said, one thing that's kind of different about using this one as opposed to the one with water, if you want to change out the snow, you're like, oh, I want snow that's maybe more like those snowballs. Well, you just open it up like I showed you. Take the snow out, put it in a container, put the snowballs in and change it out and do that for a week and keep doing it that way. Now, open this up, I'm gonna add something to it. Now, I am gonna put in the foam so far. And it's a, little, it's a little bit shiny, like real snow, but let's say I wanted to make it a little shinier. I could use glitter, I brought some blue and silver, but I think I really like this white. And it's white, but you can see it's kind of glittery. It's got really kind of shines a little bit. And let me pour a little bit of that in with my styrofoam fake snow. I'm gonna pour a little in there. And this is very fine glitter. And so we're gonna put our globe back together, put our tree back in, put the metal ring around it, screw it on there fairly tight. And shake it up. See, now it's got the glitter in there. It's a little shinier than it was. 
And if you want to decorate a little bit more, you could probably get some little beads or something glue on to make it look like ornaments. You wouldn't have to do a tree, you could do something else. You could do find like an animal, like a rabbit or something like that, something that looks like winter. And if you wanted to put something around the base, if you wanted to use some type of holiday type ribbon, you just glue it around the base there. I haven't decided what kind I want to do. You can glue it around there, make a bow on it. You can even give them as a gift. Very to easy to maintain because you don't have to have water to worry about. So there it is, Christmas tree in a jar or the waterless snow globe. You can find uh, all this stuff at a craft store. Very easy to make, very fun. A little bit less messy than making the ones with the water and glycerin. A little water and glycerin and a little different. Hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching me today.